Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm for this interview. Born ready. <laughs> Got my coffee. Standing so, by. Listen, eh? a casting director once told me, mm. yeah, as an actor, you are a walking billboard. For what, what do you have to walking billboard? So what? wherever you walk, people must see you selling something. You don't think so? No. Why don't you? Think so? What am I selling? Yourself. <laughs> 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 yes, no. I, can't, I can't get yes, paid no. for selling myself. Yourself, you I can't pay myself. No, I think for me the, the work is the the, the 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 work is the marketing, right? Yeah. So if I do a, a, a terrible job, yeah. Um, how is anyone going to have any confidence that I can, you know, yeah. on the next job, mm -hmm. they, you know, and and they take a chance. Uh, to to hire me, how do they have any confidence? Exactly, that's very true. Yeah. yeah, but in terms of like looking at, at myself as a walking billboard, I prefer not. Mm -hmm. I prefer not. No. I don't. I, how do you look I'm, at yourself? Just as as a human being who happens to have a, a, a very specific job, mm -hmm. you know, which yeah. is to to act and pretend to be. Yeah. Uh, most often fictional people. Yeah. You know, every now and then a real person. You know? Yeah. But I, I play make believe. As yeah. a little. Okay, great. Yeah. So how do you stay relevant? How do you maintain uh, this actor to stay relevant? Because obviously, mm. whether we viewers or we from a producer's point of view or production or from channel, mm. you know, you, you know what I mean. You might they might get to a point where they're like, ah, oh, this guy. We always seen that guy. So how do you make sure that you're relevant in terms of craft or mm. anything else that you deem is important for an actor? Yeah, it's a good question because there's so many different facets to it. You know, um, for some people, social media is is the key, mm -hmm. right? So regularly posting, you know, keeping up the numbers, and, and uh, to me, that's the more billboard side. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but I, I, what I found for myself is, is again, it, it boils down to the work. If, if my calling card, which is the work, mm -hmm. if I call myself an actor, that has to be first and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not someone who enjoys putting Uloiso at the forefront. Yeah. I'd rather the work speaks for itself. for itself. And so far, so good. I mean, it's worked in my favor where, yeah. where people have... Most of the jobs that I've had, it's it's from people who have either seen my work or I've worked with and and had a great experience, and then called me back to say, "Hey, dude, there's really? this thing coming that up, and we'd love you're to really have you." Really difficult on. to work with. Ooh. On that said, That's remember that one? You were there for the longest time, but apparently you're very difficult. To work. According to who? <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. I, I, that's one thing I know. There's no one who's ever worked with me yeah. who ever say I'm a difficult person to work with. That is that's 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 such a thing. Yeah. And it that's is. why we're here today. Mm. An actor as a business. Because I think that's one of the most important things, right? Yeah. For an actor as a business, for you to be able to sell yourself. Because in life, you're always selling something. It doesn't matter what you do. Like you shouldn't so. be an accountant, but you have to convince people mm. that you are good with numbers you have True. to convince somebody that you can do this right mm -hmm. so the idea of selling is everywhere right and but that's how, why how do you convince them though okay how do you convince them like no like you're saying mm. we, we, and we're getting there and i like what you said yeah that your calling card is the craft itself yeah it's what yeah, you right. can offer what you bring to the table yeah. do you understand mm. and that's how one way of convincing them right absolutely exactly yeah. so we're still getting there but <laughs> Fair enough. Way. And I'm jumping the gun here. Yeah, it's the coffee. Yeah, it's the coffee. Oh, it's the coffee. <laughs> That's why I don't drink coffee. I don't know what happens if people who drink coffee or Red Bull. Well, what about coffee and Red Bull? There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's something in there that okay. I don't understand. That's why I don't take these things. <laughs> <laughs> but so, for an actor as a business, mm. I do believe an actor has to understand themselves as, as a business. I don't know if you feel the same. And I want you to explain that to me. What does it mean, an act as a, as a business? Mm. Yeah, that's that's something uh, you know we were talking about this you know when we were recording. But it's it's a 
it's something that's a, a, a never-ending process. Yeah. Because it always seems like there'll be a certain challenge. It could be tax returns. It could be, <laughs> oh gosh, it could be all sorts of things yeah. that just seem to pop up at the weird at a weird time, and you suddenly go, oh. Nobody told me this was a yeah. possibility. Yeah. You know, like for example, the tax thing. I recently had a, a situation where I suddenly owed SARS for the first time, mm-hmm. and I, I just couldn't wrap my brain around why. I mean, generally, it's, it's quite a straightforward process. I check that, get the IRP five, check that all the IRP fives from the jobs I've done are there, and I look at the amounts and I mm-hmm. and I calculate. Okay, yeah, it all looks fine. Mm-hmm. Submit. Yeah. And then in a couple of days, you know, get a a nice rebate but uh, the past year or so I'm like um, okay no now they're saying I owe them yeah. you know so I had to call an accountant and go just explain to me what's going on because yeah. it's the first time in my career I've ever faced yeah. the situation mm-hmm. um, and he said no no the reason is as a freelancer you were earning too much on in, so now it pushed you to a certain bracket so now in that bracket, yeah, you all SARS, you know, I'm still educating myself. <laughs> I'm confused. So, how, how do you, okay, let me look exactly, at this. Okay, exactly, exactly. So this is the thing I had to understand was that, okay, on this particular contract I had, yeah. um, it was a long contract. So I, for uh, uh, every year, of course, every contract we get, when they renew the contract, you re- renegotiate, right? Yeah. So I'd negotiated a pretty good deal, yeah. I thought, mm-hmm. and um, it suddenly pushed me into a tax bracket that I wasn't in before. Mm. So now for SARS, they go, okay, it doesn't matter if you're a freelancer or not, once you're in a particular bracket, you're in the you're, you're now, we see you as Penoma. And I'm, I'm oversimplifying it, but yeah. it's pretty much what the accountant was explaining to me. So it's like, okay, look. You're not going to get any money back, but uh, this is the reason. This is the reason they're saying you you owe them. No, so. but then that's flawed. No, oh, that's flawed. <laughs> Jara, then I what are you use, supposed to do? So then you don't exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? They are definitely stronger words to describe it. But uh, it again, first time you're experiencing it. I'm, I'm experiencing the situation, and I'm going okay. Didn't know that was a thing. So now I have to educate myself yeah, and go, okay, let me try and understand. Because yeah. also I don't just want to accept what the accountant says, mm-hmm. even though he has a good reputation. Mm-hmm. I know he's not going to try and swindle me in any way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it works mm-hmm. in his favor if, I, if, if SARS owes me, anyway. Um, you know, because yeah. he'll get a, get a small nyana cut. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I have, to, I have to understand, okay, what's, what's changed and why is it changed? And okay, these are new rules that are applying now. And, Throughout my career, it's always been that kind of situation. Yeah. You hit a particular challenge and you go, okay, now what? I yeah. wasn't prepared for this. Yeah. Also, I didn't study to be an actor, so I did don't know. Did you not study to be an actor? No, 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 so, where did you pick it up? I pretty much got a matric. Really? Yeah. But did you do drama? I did at. Not even. Like, uh, my, my parents uh, sent me to. Um, I don't know if you know the, the Playhouse company in, yeah, in Durban. Yeah, in Durban. So in the 90s, they actually had a, a program called PACE, Performing Arts Center of Education. You studied in the 90s. Which was... Studied is the wrong word. Oh, yeah, you... So... Trained. Yeah, trained. yeah, yeah. yeah. Trained. So I... I, I um, they had this program for grade ones through to matrix, essentially. Mm-hmm. So it was like six to 18-year-olds. And um, because I was such a shy kid growing up, my, my mother was like, oh, drama would be a great idea. So let's send him to drama classes, you know. Yeah. And it, I guess it worked. So I used to, look how it turned out, right? Exactly. It, it kind of paid off. Um, but yeah, they, they used to send me to these classes and it was literally like you'd go in on a Saturday, um, maybe from 8 to 1, you're doing drama classes, you're doing movement classes, you're doing singing, you're doing you know, dance, uh, and then at the end of the term, we'd put on a play that would be at the at the market theatre. So mm. one of the first productions oh, I ever did, did not the market theatre, so at the playhouse. The playhouse theatre. Um, so yeah, my my first experiences of of acting was through that through that medium. So I was getting training; it just mm. wasn't. But I mean, we weren't talking about tax. Yeah. Also, you know, <laughs> exactly. how how to submit your IRP files. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, I, I think for a lot of us in, in this industry, it, it's it's generally a, a, a situation where you're learning something once a challenge pops mm-hmm. up, you know, because there's not many resources really. Yeah, and what do you think actors can do about it, about that, you know? Um, and I hear you, you said educate yourselves. As much as, as possible. Exactly. Yeah. As the challenge if, if, arises. Ideally maybe, before. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that you, 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 um, you're not constantly on the back foot. Mm. You know? Because um, I know people have been even from some of the best, you know, drama schools or film schools or whatever, and there's certain things you just don't learn. Exactly. You know? Um, no, like, when well, I've been to drama school, we don't learn mm. that. Yeah. It, and it's, I it's, don't know in, at any institution. It's rare. Which exactly? Which now, why exactly? isn't like a, a, at least a module in in place for that? In yeah, in place mm, like exactly, financial planning, because exactly financial planning, cetera, financial cetera. planning. or even management, because management mm. has market advertising. How to manage? Did exactly, you understand? Exactly. Even that. Yeah. Because every course, not every course, but accounting, engineering, yeah, BSc, there's, whatever. There's, there's something. Exactly, there's something. No. And then when it comes to the others. There's nothing. Yeah, it's so, weird. Mm. I mean, you could be a producer and you still... I suppose you'd have a bigger understanding of, of yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm. But how much of it, how, how oh, in-depth it goes, I, I've, mm. I've got no idea. So, so yeah, generally we're always on the, on the back foot. But ideally it would be, you know, I think the more... Um, the more our, our industry is kind of shifting into the 21st century, I think that helps. Mm. Because a lot of our younger actors, uh, uh, I've noticed, have a bit more of an understanding of um, these kind of intri- intricacies. Mm. You know, how to use social media, for example. Yeah. Um, uh, leveraging your popularity with extra gigs, mm. whether it's emceeing work or appearances or, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Using your other talents, so you, you're not just an actor, you're a musician. And you, yeah. you know, uh, whereas... Say people my generation. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing. Uh, Are you sure? But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You can yeah, tell for, us for, old for you. my peers, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, we still a lot of us, uh, uh, and you see it in, in terms of people around. I'd say from thirty. I mean, I'm thirty-five this year. Mm-hmm. So people who are in the industry around my age, uh, we still came from generally a theatre background. You know, uh, and theatre has has its own challenges, um, mm. but limitations. We, and, and limitations as well. But we came from that background, which doesn't quite prepare you for film and TV. Yeah. You know, yeah. and social media. It's not yeah. for, you don't need social media really. <laughs> So are you trying to yeah. say people who came from a background of film and TV, it's easier for those people to transition from film and TV into the digital space? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Uh, but also, I don't know. It depends. I think. I think it's 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 a lot more complicated. It depends on on the individual. It depends mm-hmm. on um, a, a number of things. But I, I think generally. What what where the success lies is being able to adapt and and you know being on your toes yeah and and looking around you to see what's going on and not yeah. just having you know tunnel vision yeah um, I and think where that, are you with that are you are you adapting I think in in some aspects yes and there's some aspects I refuse to adapt um, like what like social media for example yeah. I mean I, I pretty much use social media to to do to to publicize the work that I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, so generally, if I'm not working, I'm, I'm not posting much. Really? You know, I'm not posting my lunch or anything like that. <laughs> or, you know. No, but then. It, it, why? Do you know that I woke up like this. Viola Davis has a YouTube channel? Yes, yeah. So if you have a YouTube channel, because I know you don't, right? If you have a YouTube yeah. channel, you don't have to sit down and talk to your viewers or whatever. Okay, so what do they do? Post your work. People will still watch it because they're loyal to you. And you're still getting paid yeah. for, it, for, for that. For just posting, re-posting. In South Africa, though. Reposting. In South Africa, are people getting paid for YouTube? Yeah. Why did Mechji go to channel owners? For more money. You can never have enough money. I don't think he was earning much from YouTube. And he, he probably, if, I'd say, without knowing all, all the stats, but he's yeah. probably one of the most, if not the most, yeah. successful South African YouTube channels. 
not really he's got like a hundred and something subscribers subscribers yeah and then you look at Hungani the clubs and cats mm. they have 280 something they're going to three uh three hundred thousand subs- uh, subscribers oh that's good and then there's that um Kanyimbao's brother What's his name again? Oh, oh Yeah, Lassizu. Mm. He's going to, I don't know, but he's mm-hmm. probably approaching 500k. Or whatever. But that's still low. That's yeah, that's 500k still low. is low. That's still low. All I'm saying is, right, it's yeah. not a lot of money. Now, mm-hmm. for a person who gets employed contractually, mm-hmm. and you know that in the next three months, there might not be money mm-hmm. coming in the house, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, you're gonna, when you do secure the bank and the contract, it's gonna be good. You know that. Of course, yeah. That. Have you to know make that. Sure. Exactly, you have to make sure. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but all I'm saying is, right? Mm-hmm. If they're paying you 30 grand mm-hmm. for the time that you're working, you don't have to collect that 30 grand per month. The time that you're not working, they'll be paying you for those months and you'll still have that money that you weren't using. Fair enough. But I think... So this thing is something. No, definitely. For, for me, though, the, 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 the principle is correct. I agree with what you're saying. Um, for me, I wouldn't uh, use YouTube or, or social media. Mm-hmm. I, I'd rather be in a, in a business that has nothing to do. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, like I, I'm, I'm at a stage now where I'm, I'm, I'm seriously making plans to, to have um, some sort of business that I know uh, will will serve that purpose. Mm-hmm. You know, outside of, of you know, and, and people wouldn't even know that I'm, I'm yeah. you know, part of that business. Because that's another thing. The culture of people just yeah, just knowing yeah, what you, you do know, and, and it's. And, and I get it. it. It's a way to market, you know, whatever it is you're doing on the side. But mm-hmm. does it always work? Does it always um, um, transfer into into more more people revenue. buying in, into mm-hmm. revenue? Mm-hmm. We don't know, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think for my personality, it, it I couldn't do what Hungan is doing. <laughs> like, I, I'm just like How do you? What, what am I gonna do? I don't about? know. I mean, he's a du- he, they make it look so easy, both of them. I mean, it's like they, they were born for this, you know. They just want to talk. They bubbly, you know. I I don't have, <laughs> I, I don't have that. No, you don't yourself. No, no, I know myself. I know Put myself. Your kids in there. I don't have kids. You don't have kids? No, I don't have kids. I've got a dog. Is there something wrong? Does with that you? count? Yeah? No, no, there's no, there's nothing wrong with me. But there's I've, I've wrong got a I've got a dog. He's an awesome dog, by the way. Um. <laughs> But he he doesn't need a YouTube channel. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, I hear you. But in principle, I completely agree with you. It, it's it's a it's a big um, it's some it's a lesson again that, that I learned kind of late. Mm-hmm. Um, because at the beginning, it's all about the passion. Yeah. It's, it's all about I want to act and, and you know I'm serious exactly. exactly you know and I'm serious and about it. Sense. It's about the craft and, yeah. and and unfortunately, we live in a country where. You know, for for a lot of people, for example, in Hollywood, for example, yeah. uh, wouldn't even have to worry about it. I mean, you do maybe two jobs a year, let's say two series. Are you saying something? Like, uh, are you moving to what? No, not not anytime. I mean, I don't know. But <laughs> if, if the right opportunity came, I, I think I would. But um, yeah. I don't think I'd just go there looking for opportunities. Uh, yeah, and and just, hustling, yeah, you know, it, it's such a saturated right industry over mm-hmm. there and it, it's difficult. You know? yeah. um, but, uh, you know, they don't have that consideration. You know, you can do one production, if you're a lead anyway, one production a year. Mm-hmm. And it's enough to sustain okay. you for mm-hmm. a while, you know, depending on, you know, cost your your living costs and yeah. all of that. Very true. Um, and I think that's one of, probably one of the biggest lessons I had to learn was okay, extravagance doesn't work. Hey, stop it. Keep, keep it simple. Exactly. <laughs> keep keep it simple. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. And, and again, it wasn't that difficult because that's that's how I've always been anyway. Yeah. You know, I mean, I started in a nine to five job before I was an actor. Really? Uh, yeah. What did you do? So I, I start after matric. I, I didn't know what the hell I was going to study. Um, so I just went. Uh, listen, for now I need money. I need to sustain myself. Yeah. So I worked at a call center and then later at a bank. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to mention the bank. 
But uh, yeah, I, those those were my first two like real jobs yeah. after after matric. Mm. Um, and it's great, you know. You you, you literally just collect a salary every month, and it mm. comes in. You know, there's the security there. Yeah. You know, a few benefits. But uh, like, obviously, do you the get passion, a paycheck as well? You know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was it was soul destroying <laughs> for that. <laughs> Miss me, I'm corporate guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So what do you think of uh, these deals that kids are getting on social media? I think it's great. Mm-hmm. You know, if 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 you can, like we were talking about earlier, like if you, if you if you have that avenue available to you, sure. Yeah. You know, but. There's there's something about it for me that that screams a lack of integrity, depending on who's doing it and yeah. how they do it. Yeah. Like sometimes you see, you know, someone working with a brand and you're like, okay, but why that that person that brand? I was like that. No, the, it it's it's clear this <laughs> was about money. Story, you know, <laughs> it's clear this was purely about money, right? <laughs> and and it lacks integrity. And I think for me, integrity is a, is a big thing. Yeah, uh, it's it's how. I've, it's it's the reason why I've approached my my career the way that I have. Mm. I hate saying career. Okay? I don't believe it. it's a career. What do you um, think it is? It, you know, a career to me says something about stability. You know, like you you're climbing a ladder. You get after a few years, you get to this this position, right? And after like when you start off here, and after a few years, you get there, and then you know that that to me sounds like a career. Till now, we we don't have careers. So you, you, you just you go from one gig to, mean, the, no. <laughs> to the next and hopefully you just like rack up enough gigs. You so know. you say mm. <laughs> what you're basically saying is the production you just worked on is not better than the production you worked on. No, what's the it's difference? It's not a label. <laughs> no, but what's the difference? Honestly, it's for example, um I've done this year three productions. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's the one I left, the Queen. Uh, there's Why did you a, a leave film. The queen, by the way? It was time. I, I was ready to move on, uh, ready to challenge myself in different ways. Okay. Um, um, I shouldn't have asked that question actually. Well, it's too late really now. Because nobody really actually answers that. No, no, it's too late. Yeah. yeah okay. Since I answered it. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> like. <laughs> no, but really, I, I was ready for new challenges, and and uh, yeah. To, to test myself a little bit, but in terms of the three, you know, to answer your question, in terms of the three productions I've done this year, I can't say that the first one I did, uh, or you know, the, or the one that followed that was a, a stepping stone or, 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 or a climb up, a ring up the ladder than the previous one, or it just it's, doesn't work. Yeah. That way. You go from one That's, gig yeah, to the next, another. and yeah. you just apply yourself mm-hmm. and. Um, you you try to do service to the character and yeah. to the story and, and that's but always. But do you the think that exactly? Do you think that there are um, uh, roles that are actually are a stepping stone in terms of where you wanna go? Where do you wanna go? Was what you um, again because I don't look at it like a ladder. There is no way I wanna go. I don't. Mm. I, my 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 thing has always been from the get go. I just want to be a working actor. Mm-hmm. That's it. I wanna I wanna work. I don't care what medium it's on. Mm. Um, I mean, I remember at some stage, very early in my career, when I was still in Durban, I used to do radio plays, mm-hmm. you know, and radio drama was so much fun, and it was a new skill I was learning at the same time. Yeah. Um, don't overthink it. I like it, that. Yeah, you know, don't, don't, don't keep it simple, and I think the simplicity is, is what's always helped me in general, mm-hmm. you know, outside of the work as well. Whenever I try to complicate things, it, it doesn't work. Like, doesn't end very well. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've always you know brought that into into you know the work as well. Yeah. Because it, the most direct approach yeah. often often gets the best results. So you don't like being sick? Mm-hmm. Okay, I, 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 I keep yeah. my life very you, yeah, Like I said, no kids and no dog, one dog. So you're not getting any kids? Um, not anytime soon. I don't. I don't think. These days you can buy them. You know? Can you? Is there like a catalog? You pick a, a catalog. Oh, you adopt. Oh, okay. When you said buy them, I'm like, okay. 
<laughs> take a lot to the do, do they deliver? <laughs> do they deliver? Yeah. Let's let's buy them. So how do you keep yourself relevant? How do you make sure that I get work, you know, and I'm mm. not waiting for a very long time for me to get work? How do you make sure, you know, I know that there isn't an amount of certainty, but obviously yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to make sure that you get something. Otherwise you go hungry. Yeah, and, and that decision is pretty much out of your hands. Um, <laughs> but but the part that, that is in my, you know, power to do is is to make sure that I provide value you know to the to the production um, by being a professional uh, by knowing by doing my prep uh, uh, so because in that way I, it, I have it'll be an interesting performance yeah. you know because I always have the the audience in the back of my mind uh, I have the production in the back of my mind I, I want it to be interesting yeah um, because it has to be interesting for the audience. It can't be boring every time I'm on mm-hmm. screen. That, that, would, that would suck. Exactly. And then I definitely won't be getting more, more, more work. Yeah. So yeah, I, I try to always, you know, bring bring that value to to the production, so that mm-hmm. if you know by any chance that something else comes up, they can think of me for it. You know? mm. So yeah. you are your own marketing card. In a way, yeah, yeah, because that's the calling card at the end of the day. That's yeah. the CV, yeah. Um, and especially in the audience's eye, they they only know you when you you're you're doing something, yeah. when your work is out there, yeah. whether it's a film. So or you're whatever. practically telling us that you are good. That's what you say. Like I'm your saying your performances are fire, are good. They're not bad. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I no, they're, they're brilliant. What are you talking about? Exactly. Um, Just one hour. They're to absolutely brilliant, yeah. and I've never been without work. You if you believe that, you're a sucker. Of course, I've been. <laughs> of course, I've been without work, and it's something you just have to come to grips with. Yeah. Um, again, like you said, there, there is a certain amount that's that's just out of your hands, and and. Uh, and but you, you, what you can control, control. Yeah, what you can, you what's well. in your, your your ability to control, you, yeah. you, you do, mm-hmm. uh, and just apply yourself to it, a hundred percent commit, yeah. um, and and hope that's enough. Because sometimes you don't know what they're looking for, you don't know what a production is looking for. So my brand of acting is it might not be suitable for a particular production or role, uh, but for somebody else it is. Yeah. You know? Um, and you just hope that again, all those things align. Yeah. Know, the right production, the right yeah. uh, uh, role. You know, because yeah. not every role is for you. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you just hope that all those things align, uh, and that your your contribution is, is ready, and you, know, yeah. you just pull the trigger and you go. Mm-hmm. That's very true. So for a person struggling, I know mm. I asked you about people who are sitting at home, for example, who are watching this and thinking, how do I get into the acting industry? Mm. What about actors who are struggling to book work, uh, book work? That's what you do. But then, of course, I'm not saying you are. <laughs> you have all the knowledge. <laughs> what advice? Not necessarily advice. It's, I'm choosing all the wrong words. But what could you say? Mm. And I know we spoke about talent and value for your work, mm-hmm. you know, be ready, be prepared, right? Mm-hmm. We spoke about that. But what else can you do to make sure that do I pick up the phone and call production companies? What what do what do you do? Um I think the the main thing you can do is think of yourself as as a multifaceted human being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um because I, it's a question I've asked myself. Like, if if I literally was not able to act anymore, mm-hmm. you know, would I still be able to to live a fulfilling life? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, and I think so. I think I think I have, uh, you know, enough outside of of acting, and not just work, but in terms of personal relationships, in terms of family. Mm-hmm. You know where where I could I could apply myself and and uh, and be okay. Mm. And I think for some of us we were maybe um, too obsessed, if I can use that word, <laughs> with this like one thing. Yeah. That it it everything else in our lives kind of 
falls to the wayside. Mm. You know? mm. um, like a, a great example is uh, um, Michael Fassbender, the actor, he's a fantastic actor. And he, for the last few years now, has been working with Porsche mm -hmm. because he is, uh, has had a passion for, for racing. Mm -hmm. And he's done, you can watch the series on YouTube actually, on, on Porsche's uh, YouTube uh, um, channel. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you care about racing, car racing or not. Yeah. But he has been working with Porsche to to qualify for the Lamar 24 hour race, yeah. which is a big deal, yeah. right? So they've literally just been documenting almost like a, a series, like yeah. a six part series mm -hmm. on YouTube, like 23 minute episodes yeah. of him in preparation for this. From the time he starts, starts working with Porsche and you see him struggling mm -hmm. because he, he, he doesn't have the experience that a lot of the professional drivers mm -hmm. have. Um, he's not used to the car, he's not used to the pressure, and you see him struggling, and um, and I, I thought to myself, that's fantastic, this man has, has another facet of himself outside of, yeah. you know, acting, as yeah. brilliant an and, uh, and actor he is, yeah. as busy an actor he yeah. is, as he is, mm -hmm. but he has this whole other side to him outside of acting that could exist if the acting came to an end. Exactly. You know, and it's not necessarily about money, but it, it's Even something. Even with the acting. Exactly. You know, that's and, and, beautiful. And I think that's important that, mm -hmm. that we, we need to nurture other facets of our lives um, that aren't just about the hustle all the time. Mm -hmm. That aren't just about. Mm -hmm. it, it's tough, you know, because yeah. we all need to put you know food yeah. on the table exactly. and pay the rent. But uh, often those things. Uh, can be an avenue to to keep yourself afloat. So yeah, understanding everything you've said, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. How important do you think financial planning is then for an actor? Um, it's it's incredibly important. Um, a in terms of you know, for people who don't know, with, with regards to our industry, you know, if I can make this example, if I shoot a film. Now, November 2021, yeah. um, I get paid now in November and the film will come out maybe in a year's time mm -hmm. uh, and by that point that money is, is long, yeah. finished, probably finished in December, yeah. <laughs> December, <laughs> January it is definitely finished <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and, and that's, a, that's a big problem, it, it partly, you know, is, is, has got to do with uh, the legislation thing I was talking about where there's just not enough uh, protecting us when it, and, and there's not enough ammo that we have when we go into our contract negotiations yeah. because, you know, for, for example, in a year's time I'm going to be expected to do marketing, you know, I'm going to, be, and there's a marketing budget, yeah. but I'm not included in that budget, uh, whereas it would be great to 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 say to a production uh, when you're negotiating your contract, for example, yeah. that look, I have this following on Twitter, and this is my engagement. These are my numbers on social media. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going to do marketing for it, then I, I it should reflect in, in my fee. Yeah. Um, but currently, our, our, our contracts are, are really just take it or leave it. You know? Yeah. You, you're presented with a contract. Um, they, we don't really have bargaining power. Uh, to to negotiate the terms of that contract. Yeah. Uh, really, all you're doing is 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 talking about your your basic fee, and you it, it's a situation where you know they say, look, this is what we're offering. Yeah. Uh, you go well, that's lower than my rate. This is my rate. They say, well, we can't. We we either can meet that or we can't. We can't. And that's really all it is. Yeah. In terms of all the other things that I mentioned. Uh, you, it's really never touched on, yeah. um, uh, and and it's it's really important because by the time you have to market that film and and tell people about that film, um, you 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 the, the money's not there. The money's gone. Um, you you could be sitting at home not doing anything at that mm. point, and you're expected to show up and be bubbly and be well dressed and you mm. know. Um, 
uh, uh, push this product. Yeah. Um, and again, like I say, the, the, the marketing budget is there and, exactly. and they'll have DJs and musicians and MCs all getting paid to be there. And, and they'll have people happy. posting on social media for that event, mm-hmm. you know, that the, who are getting paid to do that. Yeah. So why can't I negotiate that into my contract? Yeah. Um, so these are all the things that hopefully, in, you know, change in our, in our industry yeah. in order to, to help with uh, uh, giving us a bit more stability when it comes yeah. to... to uh, contracts and to the work, yeah. yeah, because that, that you can't really plan for, for things you don't know. Exactly. So, again, using the same example, yeah. how do you plan for January when you a accepted this gig in, in November that wasn't really paying you enough money? Yeah, uh, it's probably the only job you have now. Uh, you, maybe you weren't working for two months before that, now you're catching up from September. <laughs> so September's you know bills have been waiting. October's bills have been waiting. November you get paid. That's a percentage of that money gone. Yeah. Now you still have to continue forward. Yeah. It's it's and it unsustainable. This money that you just got. Just to just to short. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense at all. So how do you plan for the future? Yeah. How, do, how do you so build even if something? You wanted to get a lawyer for yourself, then you can't. For exactly. You to, yeah. yeah. Unless, I mean, entertainment lawyers, I don't even think people can study entertainment. To no. be an entertainment no, lawyer can't. in South Africa. No, you can't. Uh, I don't even think it's offered as a, as a module. It's you know? not. Believe me, I wanted to, uh, to do that because I did producing. Yeah, I did producing. And then producing then, yeah, there's just a lot of things see, that are exactly a, a lot of things that are lacking and yeah. they were really disturbing me. I was like, maybe if I do entertainment law, mm. <laughs> maybe. And I know but they were like, no, we that. don't have that. It's not. It's yeah. not a course that's offered. It's not a course. You have to. And go yet, into it's a multi-million or billion rand industry in South Africa. How crazy which, which is that? Makes you wonder. Like, okay, why is that? Because I, I can tell you now, there's no producer or production company or, or broadcaster that doesn't have lawyers or a law firm at, mm-hmm. at its disposal. Exactly. Uh, they help with wording the contracts, right? Yeah. Drawing up the contracts. Mm-hmm. And but how do you help great, with you know? wording the contract if you don't understand the nature of the industry? Yeah. Like that's really wrong. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, right? you, you A, need a, a good agent. Um, to help you understand contracts, and yeah. it's something you need to do from the very get go. Yeah, uh, is is understanding the terms of of your contract because it, with us, our contracts don't really change. It, it's a stock standard contract. <laughs> it really is. It's it's it's, it's crazy. It's it's a stock standard contract, copy and paste that you see everywhere apart from maybe you know one or two things that are, are, are different <laughs> then it will um, show in the production yeah and hopefully the amount <laughs> yeah, the you know that you're, you're getting paid is different yeah. uh, uh, more hopefully anyway. yeah <laughs> but um, uh, again it just it speaks to the nature of our industry there, there's still a lot of things that we need to iron out uh, in order to to make it more sustainable for yeah. everybody involved uh, not just have it be so one-sided, yeah. uh, where the broadcaster is is, is winning all mm-hmm. the time. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. I would love to have a lawyer. I'd love to have a lawyer. I would have used them a few times by now. Yeah, I'd right. love to have a t- like. I'd love to have a, a PR team, uh, a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Of course, my agent will be there. Who else? A personal assistant. Of course. For when like I need to and what would get ready for John Wick. 15, you know, Fast and Furious 20. <laughs> <laughs> and Vin Diesel is still there. Like, I, I want to I wanna have that team because that's, that's ideally to, to get to Tom Cruise level. That's yeah. what you need. You yeah. need your accountant. You need, you, it's, a, it's a proper business. Yeah. So when you say an actor as a business, that's in my mind what I think of. I yeah. think of, okay, I've got my personal assistant, my lawyer, my my law firm that's yeah. that's representing me my accounting firm my my financial planner my uh, uh, i know the manager at the bank on a first name basis they know my my investment banker my that's you that's what I'm, my stylist so everybody you there. say already because you don't have those things you're already at a disadvantage of course you are. because you of can't you. you can't wear so many hats yeah you, you 
and and, and also, if you don't have them, you're going to have to play those parts. Uh, exactly. I mean, a simple thing like the, the, the personal uh, trainer. It, it seems like a, a, a minuscule thing, but you, if you get a, a an audition to play in, you know, some Star Wars film, not, not even Star Wars, as a superhero, let's mm-hmm. say, um, you generally have quite a bit of time uh, and, and if we're looking at Hollywood anyway and how they work, uh, you generally have quite a bit of time from when you're cast in that role to when you start filming. Maybe two or three months, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, if not more than that. Um, and that's when you generally see oh, these transformations. Uh, Tina. <laughs> like for hours. <laughs> In the morning, Louis, are you available tomorrow for this? Oh, I've, yeah, I've had that before. Uh, are you available tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> I've had, are you uh, available? I've had, uh, um, yeah, we're shooting in two weeks' time. That time, you, do, you don't even have scripts yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you're wondering what the hell this production company, um, yeah. uh, I know, where they started shooting, they didn't, they were commissioned I think maybe a month before Mm -hmm. or the deadline for for submitting the first episode Mm -hmm. was like a month uh, ahead so like you commission now to submit first episode by the end of uh, December let's say yeah yeah Mm -hmm. so you haven't haven't written anything? nothing, there's no forewarning so there's no you know, idea of what the, the show is going to be about, <laughs> um, where the season is going. Yeah. You know, the last season was years before. Yeah. Um, and broadcasters do that. I mean, broadcasters have taken shows away from production companies and given them to other production companies. The same show, yeah. different production company. Uh, like even the producers like, don't yeah. have don't have any sort of um, uh, power. We'll power. Say, no. Yeah. And it all goes back to legislation. Really. Yeah. You know, being Because everything is being commissioned. Exactly. It's you, a you, you have no. That. Yeah, you're not an owner of that material. Mm-hmm. It's IP, your, your IP is. Well, essentially, it's, it's, it's. Look, if you want this to be something more than just a piece of paper, you accept these terms. Yeah. Or get up. Because I give you the money. Or it will stay, you know, just an idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, that's crazy. Which, is, which is terrible. It's, yeah. it's, it's challenging, you know. But I think we'll, we'll eventually get there. I think it just needs a bit of willpower from the decision makers. Yeah. Uh, political willpower. Yeah. Uh, to actually see the value of what we're doing and, and maybe not to get swayed so much by... I don't know, whatever benefits they're getting. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, you know, um, for it to change. Yeah. But the, the, the bills have been put through and sent back and put through and sent back for no really good exactly. reason I can see. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. What do you have to say to somebody who's sitting at home now and they want to be an actor, right? And they don't know how to go about it. Um, run. <laughs> Run in the opposite direction. Actually, no. <laughs> Let's get advice. No. <laughs> it, Let's it, get advice. It, it actually is. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. There's 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 method to my madness here. Um, if if it will test your priorities, what 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 you really are are trying to achieve by getting into acting, I think. Mm-hmm. Because if you're not really serious about it, then you probably will. Run. <laughs> um, from but varsity if, even. Yeah, from varsity. <laughs> yeah, fine. You got it. Um, but I think if you if you if you've got that stubborn streak, uh, you'll probably ignore that and pursue it anyway. Yeah. Um, and then I say all the best to you. Uh, get a good agent. Um, hone the skills as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, Stay as positive-minded uh, as you can. Look after your, your mental health. Uh, it's a really important thing because there will come times when you're not working. Yeah. And you, you need, uh, not a backup plan per se, but, but you, need, you need to be stable in yourself to not, to not, uh, to not panic um, and, and to not uh, become negative. Uh, yeah. And lose all hope. Yeah. yeah. 
it's happened to too many people in our industry uh, uh, who have seen no no way out. Yeah. Um, so it's it's really important to 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 look after yourself yeah. in that way. You know. Um, what do you do to take care of your mental? Um, well, I have a dog. Okay. It's a big, it's a big help. I don't have kids. Okay. That's yeah. another big help. Ah. Um, How dare you? I have friends who are parents. Who do. She's actually you can see them from a mile. They've just got a look on their face. <laughs> <laughs> so, like you say, don't have kids. If help me. I don't know look. Help me. <laughs> help. Help me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Really I, right. Of course, I'm joking. But, but um, no, no. There are plenty of, of, of people who have parents, uh, who have parents, <laughs> who, have, who have kids uh, in the industry, and are, are, are doing well. You know, I think yes. if you have a plan and uh, and you don't keep all your eggs in one basket, um, then it's it's definitely doable to sustain. Yeah. You know, while we wait for the bills to be passed. Yeah. Can it be today, please? Oh, please. God, Allah, Buddha, I don't Everybody know, all of them, the power Krishna, that all of them, yeah. all of yeah. you know, all please. Right. Thank you so much for this conversation. No, it's been great, it's yeah. been great. I mean, we had the lights on, uh, ESCOM came to the party, Why are you know, halfway through. No, but it's true, I mean, this is South Africa, we, we, we know what we're doing. Yes, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, we know Stage what we're doing.